Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we see how to price barrier options under the Black & Scholes model, so in, in the simplest way possible. And uh, in particular we see, uh, first uh, we would simulate the stock price with uh, uh, a simple geometric barrier motion. Then we'll compute the barrier options payoff. Then we'll define uh, how the barrier option price is computed. And finally, we will test our own code. Here you see the, the only two libraries we need. So NumPy for some mathematical tools, such as the square root or the exponential and so on. And then the matplot library to, to plot our, uh, our simulated stock prices. Okay, first we will do this for um, using, defining some functions. So first function we need is the underlying stock price simulation. So underlying price simulation. And the inputs in this way are S0, so the underlying price as of today. Then there is free rate, the volatility of the underlying still as of today the maturity of the barrier option, then MT, so how many time intervals we want to discretize our time horizon, so from zero up to the maturity capital T, and finally the number of simulations that we want. And uh, okay, so the time interval is simply the, the maturity over the number of time intervals. Then we have our path, which we need to initialize them as a, uh, a matrix of zero, so zeros of number of simulation and number of time intervals plus one because the first one is uh, the zero, so today value. So the first column will be, every value will be as zero, so today price. Then we have our pass, so we, as I said before, we complete, we, we fill the, the first column as as zero. Then we complete all the other uh, columns of the matrices. So for i in range of one up to number, number of time intervals plus one, we have to simulate the standard normal distribution. So mp.random.normal, then so standard, so mean zero volatility one and finally how many we want number of simulations and finally path of every every column will be the preceding column so this is why we need to initialize in this way path so where's the first case so sorry we have path of every point and i minus one. This is of course square brackets. I minus one times the exponential of risk free rate, so r minus one half times the volatility squared. So here, and then we have times dt. So plus finally the volatility times uh, the square root of uh, of dt so and the square root of dt and finally times our simulated value of z and uh, okay then the function will return this matrix of path no mistakes apparently then we can pass to computing the barrier options payoff so again we create this new function, which is barrier option payoff, and the input are the this variable, this matrix path. Then we have k, the strike price, the barrier, and finally the type. So if we want a call or a put, and we, we set the default value as call. So this means that if the, if the user does not give any value of type so it just gives the path k and the barrier the type will be by default a, a cool option okay then we have to retake our n variable so we take path of 
shape sorry dot shape of one so the number of columns uh, minus one and then we say if the type is equal equal to call as by default then the payoff will be sorry the payoff will be the maximum between our matrices path minus k as usual for the call options and zero otherwise so s i just copy and paste it and we invert the k and the path so the start price my, minus the, the value okay then we have the to check if the barrier is hit so we create this boolean variable barrier hit and we say any so every time pass is lower than the barrier sorry x is equal to one so over the column and then we set whenever this this uh, boolean value is one so this is a matrix of, of boolean values and we say whenever this is one we set the payoff equal to zero because our uh, our option is not valid anymore so payoff of barrier hit is equal to zero and finally we just return our matrix of payoff sorry um a vector of payoff and uh, okay f uh, then we can pass to the last part which is before the, the, the test of course which is the uh, the barrier option price so we define a new function called barrier option price and we say the inputs are still at zero so the underlying price the the risk free rate the volatility the maturity the strike price the barrier and then i have the number of time intervals the number of simulations and again we have this type that we default initialize as a call and we say pass is equal to and then we use our function underlying price simulation of s0 r volatility maturity nt and number of simulations and then we compute the payoff using again our function so barrier option payoff of pass we we just simulated then i have the the bar the, the start price then the barrier and finally the type so now the barrier option price is simply the exponential of minus r times the maturity times the mean of the payoff of our payoff and then we return this barrier option price finally we can test our own code so let's say we set some values so for instance as zero as a hundred then we have the risk rate for instance five percent the volatility 20 percent which is which these are good values then the maturity one year k is equal to a zero so add the money in barrier option the barrier let's say it's just 80. then we have the number of time intervals let's say 365 so one day each because the maturity is one year and the number of simulation we keep a low value so one thousand so to have a very fast code so for instance let's say first that the our underlying price simulation works and then we will plot these the all these these uh, simulated stock prices so s0 r volatility t nt and number of simulations and as i said we plot this one so path dot t and finally we show this one let's see if if it works okay you see these are our uh, a thousand simulated stock prices uh, over
over one year, so 365 time intervals of one day, and uh, then we can compute our own price. So buyer option price is a new variable, of course, is buyer option price of S0, R, volatility, maturity, strike price, barrier, number of, of time intervals and number of simulations. And then we, we just print our own value, so buyer option price. And you see that in this case, we inside this function, we generate our, uh, our stock price, we simulate it over one year, and then the final price is this one. Of course, it's uh, random, so if we generate again, we obtain always different results as we expect. And uh, this is the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and see you in the next one. Thank you.